Hey everybody, it's Kelly and Sophie Doyle. Sorry, baby. Go back to sleep. Sorry. <laughs> um. So on top of everything, I'm telling you, this is crazy. So on top of everything, I even hate to say this, a mouse got into my van. And this thing's like taken over. And it's sneaky. I've never encountered a mouse. So this is all new to me. So I was laying in my bed and I heard, I saw it for the first time. It came crawling on the top of my driver's seat. And so I peeked over my, my covers and it looks at me and it takes off. I'm like, I'm way in the back. This thing's sneaky. So when it came over the seat, the first time I saw it, um, it was just, you know, walking over to my little produce basket where it had already eaten an apple. And I mean, it was just walking over like going to the buffet, you know, <laughs> going back to the buffet. And then it saw me look and it's like, oh, damn. And it went back. Uh, but it's just all casual, like, oh, time to go back to the buffet. So I got a humane trap and three little sticky things. And I put these little sticky glue pads around an apple. And I put uh, some peanut butter into the trap. And usually every night it's out run running around looking for food and stuff. And since I put the traps out, this thing is not... I can't hear it. I can't hear it. I'm like, where is it? It's like it knows. It's like it's on to me and it's chunky it's fat and I'm thinking I hope it's fat and obese and not pregnant um, and then I opened my glove box today and there was a nest it had a nest in my glove box I'm like this thing's just moving in um, so the glove box there were like balls of like it made a nest out of like shredded paper. I'm, it looked like sh I'm like, where did it get this? I don't see any paper missing paper. Oh, uh, I hope it wasn't like my um important writings or anything. You know, the poem of my life was shredded by a rat, mouse, whatever it is, a chunky thing. So I am. I've met my match. I don't want to kill it. I don't want to do the poison. That's like the worst. Um, someone said get the traps where it chops the head off. I'm like, well, maybe down the line, but I don't want to deal with a decapitated mouse. It's been, I think, three days and it's just kind of feeling like I should just give it the keys. I mean, <laughs> It's just hanging out. This is my van, man. Get out of here. <coughs> so, uh, never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. So I have th four sticky things and a little trap with peanut butter at the end. And it, it's supposed to crawl in. And then it, you know, closes. And then I can release it. Maybe I'll leave it with some apples. I mean, I'm very, I love animals, but no. No, we, he, it cannot be in here. It's going to, it's, I feel like it's starting to smell already. Maybe that's just me. I think it's starting to smell. <laughs> um, I'll keep you updated. I, van life. Van life, you guys. This is not like the videos I watched for two years. This is not the videos I was watching for two years. Let me just say that. Hey guys, so it's about 5.30 in the morning. This mouse, it woke me up in deep sleep. I mean, I'm feeling kind of, you know, when you get waking up, woken up, and it, you just feel kind of sick, and uh, you want to kill whatever woke you up, kind of. So I'm hearing, I was woken up by this thing grunting. It's, someone said there's they grind their teeth down. 
um, it's like, I'm done. I'm so done with this thing. I'm getting the mean traps to today. And I might get a hundred of them because I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Mice is driving me crazy. No. Oh my god. So I heard a noise in the front. It's in the front. I thought I sounded like it might be in the trap, but now it's moving around again. It probably disassembled the trap, ate the peanut butter, and put it back together. This thing is crazy. So I was gonna videotape checking to see if it's in the trap, but I mean, I need to get this thing out of here. We'll see. I mean, I don't know. Holding the camera, and I need to hold like a towel or something. I don't even know. How to catch a mouse. It's gross. This is becoming maddening. And I don't do well on top of everything going on right now. I'm telling you. To be woken up in the middle of my sleep. I have stuff to do. A lot of stuff. I mean, I have so much stuff to do. So I need this mouse off of my plate and not waking me up in the middle of my sleep. It's just walking around. <sighs> All right, hang on. It's digging into something. I'm gonna open the curtains to the front, and I'm not gonna build a video of the rest. I just, I need to open the curtains and try to capture. I don't know. The thing I was gonna use to capture it is in the front. I don't have experience with this. I swear I've never seen a mouse. I've never had a mouse in any dwelling of my life. Oh, shit. I'm gonna scream. Oh, I'm sitting on my toilet. You know what? It's gonna run us. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. This is so gross. What the hell is going on? Where is it? There's the, there's the trap. It hasn't gone in it. It hasn't touched the apple. Or if it has, it, those didn't work. It's over there. And look at Sophie. She is clueless. I keep trying to wake her up and tell her there's something. What is it? Go smell. Where is it? And she's completely clueless. What is it about dogs? And Honey, there's a mouse in the house. Do you understand? And I would uh, open the doors and say, go find, go smell. Where is it? I need you to get it out of here, honey. Please. Should I put her in the front? I don't know what to do. I don't want it biting you, though, honey. Get rabies or something. Oh, yes, you're cute, but you are not helping at all, honey. <laughs> How ugly. But I'm going to have to borrow a cat. Honey, I'm gonna have to trade you in for a cat. Let me call my friend with a cat. And say, can you can I borrow your kitty cat and you can have the pit bull because the pit bull not helping here. <laughs> Sophie, you're so strange. <laughs> you're so lovey sometimes. Is that your toy? You gonna play with your toy? Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Why don't you go play with the damn mouse, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's adorable, honey. <laughs> Let me go get a stick and go try to get it. <laughs> oh, my God. For my baby. All right. Back to work. Because someone's not helping at all.
You think that's funny? Honey, do you think that's funny? Oh, you think that's funny? Honey. <laughs> it did it. It went right around the trap. Oh, God. I'll try more, st more traps. Okay, I'm going to cover that whole front with the, the mean traps. That is it. I told it. I talked to it nicely. I said, please, uh, mouse, you got to leave or I'm going to kill you. So, it has to go. Sorry, people. It has to go. Right. This is taking up so much of my time. In the, so, this is another... <laughs> and you guys wonder... Why are you making more videos? Okay, you guys aren't. I think I lost all the subscribers that were complaining. <laughs> After by two weeks away. This is why, you guys, it's not just a head injury. It's plus. It's crazy on the road. It's always something. Three days of a mouse. So I'm like shopping for mouse stuff. I'm pulling stuff out half... Already pulled a bunch of stuff out and looking for it, and I'm like, oh, it's just moving around. And I'll be like, the lights on, I'm talking, this thing's walking around, scratching his butt. Good morning, you know, <laughs> pulling out the bread and butter. I'm surprised it hasn't pulled out my stove. It's like, hey, <laughs> uh, after I put those up, I thought. Oh, this is going to be the day when some creeper's outside of my van and I jump into the driver's seat to drive off and <laughs> sit on those sticky things on my pants. Okay, I think it's around here somewhere. So I put three sticky things and I got the trap right there. I think it's under my cedar. So, um, I'm going to go to flag back to Flagstaff today and, um, Probably get a hundred ten thousand of those sticky things. Maybe more mouse traps. Maybe I'll post the first part of this and see if anyone has info or suggestions. Living the dream. <laughs> we, oh baby, we is living the dream. <laughs>